Hello and welcome to the first part in this, uh, it's essentially a third person character tutorial series like the last one, but this time instead of making a humanoid character, we're going to make a uh, animal character. In this case, it's going to be a dragon. So the reason why I'm going to use a dragon, because a couple of months back, uh, f during when they were giving away uh, some free stuff, they gave away a really cool... Uh, dragon asset. So I'm just going to find that in my in my library now. If you, I think I should be allowed to put these uh, in the project files, but I, I'm not 100 sure about that. But because it's for educational purpose and they did give it away free, I think I can. Uh, but I'll have to look into that. So here it is, the Desert Dragon. Now, if you don't have Desert Dragon, you will be able to follow along with any um, any animal. Now, there's an animal variety pack here which you'll be able to follow along with. There's a bird in there that has some animations. If you want to do a flying creature like we're going to be doing, I believe the animal variety pack is completely free. So if uh, you just go on to UE4's marketplace and look for that. Uh, but I'm going to use this dragon, and hopefully I'll be able to um, put these in the project file. So I'm going to click Add to Project, and then I'm going to Find. So it's the Dragon Character Tutorial. Add to Project. And then I've already got that open, so that's just going to be added here. So Desert Dragon, and then we'll just... And that's already been added. It didn't take long at all. Okay, so let's have a little look at the files that we have been given. So we've got some animations, mesh, textures, all that stuff. So really what we're interested in is these animations. Now, we have loads here. So a Dragon by... We've got combos, so we've got lots of different attacks, death, claw attack, death hit. So let's have a look at some of these. Let's have a look at the falling animation, for example. It just takes a while to load that up. So yeah, it'll be interesting to set this up. Now, I haven't set this up previously so i think a lot of the times what people do with these tutorial videos is they build it first and then obviously talk you through it afterwards whereas i don't want to do that because as part of this i want you to see the process that i'm going through uh in creating and you know sometimes there's mistakes and how we uh how we get around those mistakes or problems that we might have okay so we've got some cool animations if we want to do a dive all right, so let's just get started. So obviously it would be good to go through all these animations and check every single one, but we haven't got time for that in this video. So if you're new to this channel, I my screen recorder is broken, so I'm using this online screen recorder, and we've got to limit our uh, videos to about 15 minutes each. So let's crack on with setting up the character. So we'll go to content, and inside the dragon folder, we will create a new folder and call it blue prints and then we'll open that up and we'll right click and we'll add a new blueprint class a character and we'll call this dragon underscore bp and this is where we're actually going to create our character so if we open that up and then um so if you're brand new this is the first one this is where we add here we can add all the different components but to get started we don't need to add anything because we've already got this mesh inherited uh, that comes with this character blueprint so if i just click on the mesh here and then come over to the right hand side and select the sk desert dragon and then that's going to plonk that in there for us we're going to rotate that 90 degrees and we're obviously going to have to do some stuff with the capsule, make him smaller probably. So let's do that. Let's make him just a bit smaller. We don't want him too small because he's a dragon after all. So bring him down a little bit. Okay. Um, and then we need to add a camera. So with the mesh selected, first thing we need to do is add a spring arm. Um, spring arms help you control the position of the camera. I'm going to rotate that so it's 90 degrees behind him. Lift it up a little bit. And then instead, don't move this back. If you might say you want the camera further away. Oh, where's the spring arm? 
Keep it in the center and then move the target length. So the target length, let's say 600, just a little bit further away. And then with the spring arm selected, just go in and add a camera. Okay. Um, and then obviously if you want to move the camera, if you want to move the camera's position, you move the spring arm. Okay. So we should be able to rotate that a little. Oops. So the camera is more like that. Maybe we want it more like that. But we can play around with that. Right, then, so that we can possess this character, we need to tell the computer that this is the character we want. So click up here right at the top, uh, Dragon BP Self. And then in the search details, up over on the right-hand side, type Possession or Auto Possess Player. And then turn this on to player zero, because player zero is the first character that will be possessed. Okay, so we'll place our dragon in our scene. Um, we will delete this third person character, or just remove him from our scene. Not going to fully delete him or anything. And then we'll bring back our, char uh, our dragon and hit play. And there you can see we have a dragon, but we don't have any movement code or any camera controls or anything like that. Right now, he's just purely uh, a model with a camera, okay? Uh, but what we can do is we can go and start setting that stuff up. So a minute ago, we got rid of the third-person character. So if we open up the third-person BP folder, go to Blueprints, go to third-person character. Now, even though this is a humanoid character, we want all of its movement code. So its movement code is this, mouse input, movement input, and we'd normally take jump, but we'd, we certainly don't want that for this dragon. So we're just going to select those, hold control, hit C, go into the Dragon BP's event graph, delete all that, and then hit con hold control and then hit V on your keyboard, and that's going to post uh, that in directly there. Hit compile, see if you've got any errors, and we don't. So let's just go in and quickly test that. So yeah. So now our dragon will move, hold forward, but rotate the camera. He will always rotate to the camera. Okay, so I don't know if we want that. I don't think we do. So we can go set that up. Also, he's floating off the ground. Um, so we need to lower him down a little bit more. So just grab him. Um, grab this and just, oops, moving him the wrong way. Click him. Bring him down to about there, let's say. When we get a animation blend space in, this will be easier for us to uh, recognize where the floor is because, you know, it'll be playing an animation. So that looks okay. Right, so let's go in back into him and set up this camera so it actually works properly. So we'll go into the spring arm. And just delete where it says possession up here, or POSS. And we're going to switch this to use pawn control rotation. Okay, you're going to tick that. And then you're going to come up here to Dragon BP. And then if you go to the search details and just type your. And we want to untick this use control rotation raw for the uh, your for the pawn. Okay, so if you untick that. And now we should be able to move around. Uh, but what we can't do is turn the character. Okay, so he moves, but he doesn't rotate. The character itself doesn't rotate uh, towards the camera position. So let's see if we can find that. We might just fix that. We might just go and do, the, if I can't find it, we might just go and do the, um, the animation blueprint. Oh, why won't that delete? Hit delete. No. Nope. Don't seem to want to delete for some reason. There we go. Okay, so um, let's type in. No, uh, it's, I believe it's Orient. Orient. Ori. Let's have a look. Hmm. So is it the actual. Is it in the character movement? Yeah, it's in the character movement. Okay, so click on the character movement and then come over here to where it says Orient Rotation to Movement and click that and then hit Compile. And then when we move, yes. Okay, so that's it. That's the basics in, right? We can rotate around him, all around, and we can move in different directions. 
Okay, now ideally you would have a turning animation for that, okay? Uh, I, I'm not even sure if we do have one, but we can speed up that rotation uh, if we want to. In fact, let's go and have a look at that now. <clears throat> so I believe this is in character movement as well. And if we just type in rot for rotation, yeah, here, rotation rate. Right now it's set to 360. Eh? So I'm going to set that to 1280. Eh? Compile that. And then when I turn, yeah, it's much quicker. But you might want that, you might not. But I'm going to set that back. I'm just going to double it. So uh, character movement, it was at 360. So 720. Compile. And then we've doubled the rotation speed. Okay, so that's basically set up for the animations. And um, we'll quickly do that. We've got five minutes left. So that won't take long to set up those uh, animations. So let's go to the Desert Dragon. He's got an animation folder already. We're going to right-click an empty space, go to the animation uh, blend space. So let's just actually look. So we do have a turn right and a, a turn left, so that's good. Turn left, turn right, run. Do we have a walk? Yeah, we have a walk backwards, but I'm not sure we're going to need that because we're not going to do a lock-on. Um... Okay, so we'll just go for a 1D blend space, I think, uh, again, and see how we get on with that. So right-click, animation, uh, blend space 1D. It's for our desert dragon, and then we're going to call this dragon underscore dragon underscore BS for blend space. So open that up. And then we need an idle, so let's find the idle animations. Idle breathe. Let's have a look what that is. Okay, so that's that's him just stood there. So that's perfect. And then we want a walk. Uh, desert dragon, desert dragon walk. Oh, nice. Okay. And then we want a run. Um. Have a look at that okay cool right so let's go and set this up we usually i come and set the axis up first but i just wanted to see what animations we have so come up to the left here where it says axis settings and where it says uh name we want to call this speed uh the minimum zero maximum 600 but again we can change that if we feel like we need to and we're going to put the grid divisions to six and the interpolation time to zero 0.2 that's how you blend the animations it's this interpolation time that that blends them. If you find that your animations are overly janky, you want to come around and play, uh, come in here and play around with that. So when we get to uh, 200 walking speed, we want to be walking. When we get to uh, 500, we want to be running. Okay. So when we do reach our top speed, we are, and then the, it blends between those. Okay. So that's that. Now quickly, we'll go and set up the animation blueprint as well. So we'll minimize that. We'll right-click an empty space, animation, blueprint, right here. And we're going to pick here the Desert Dragon and hit OK. And then this is Dragon underscore anim underscore BP. Okay, I've, uh, I'm just going to rename that so it's not got two capitals. Uh, anim BP, good like that come on there we go he's listening to me right so open up the blueprint now uh we went through this quite extensively in the last video so i'm not in the last series so i'm not going to go over it too much but we're just going to essentially recreate that okay so what we want to do is right click add new state machine put that into that we're going to call this locomotion. And then we're going to double click on it to open it up. And then we're going to drag out and we're going to add state. And it's going to be the idle forward slash walk forward slash run. Okay. And then we're going to find, we're going to open that up. We're going to find the blend space we just created. We're going to drag that out and plug that into there. Okay. And then we're going to drag off the speed, promote that to a variable. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to call it speed. 
Okay, and then go into the event graph. Now, if you're struggling to find any of this stuff, it's all here on the, uh, so I can get to the event graph, but here I can get back to the uh, animation graph and the actual locomotion graph by clicking down here. So let's go to the event graph. So they're, they're here and they're also on this tab here. And underneath you can see the different sections of each graph. It is complicated uh, working with the animation blueprints, but uh, you just you just got to spend some time with it to get used to it. Okay, so from here we want to cast to Dragon BP, and we want to plug the object into the Try Get Pawn Owner. Now what we want to do is we want to get Velocity, and we want to get Forward Vector. Then we want to drag out and get a dot product. And that combines those two, and then we'll, that will give us our speed. That's how we're going to figure out our speed. So drag in speed, set, drag that into there, and then plug that in. <clears throat> Compile, we should see him pop into his uh, idle pose. And then that should be it. So go to the Dragon BP, open him back up again, click on the mesh, get rid of any uh, text you've got in the search details bar, and then where it says Anim class, click on that and go to the Dragon Anim BP. And you'll see that when we compile, it'll pop into his animation state. And we have a very basic setup for our dragon. Simple as that, okay? So this was the same process we went through for the other one. Now he will, if I move my camera, he'll still rotate towards the camera, which I think is fine, especially when we get the... Um, get the flying going all right and i think we'll have a go at doing the flying creating another blend space for the flying in the next video okay so i'll see you when we do that